Hello, welcome back to the channel. Now, about a year ago, I set up a PO box where people could send me stuff. And I've just never really mentioned it ever since. Never really asked people to send me it. I'll just put it in the description of the videos. But a few things have come in. So I thought myself, and one of my favorite people in the world ever, Otto, are gonna look through some of the things you've said, you've sent in. Uh, what do you think, Otto? Are you excited by this? Yeah. Okay, Otto's six, by the way. Is it good being six? No, not that good. Not that good, why not? Because, you, because when you want to add a, um, a resolution, you're, you're uncomfortable through, you can't get it. Why can't you get an apple? Because you had it in your... Because your arms aren't long enough? Yeah. Okay, so the main problem? Yeah? And it's because it's not small enough. Okay, all right. Right, here's our first um, parcel here. Um, it's come. It's got an aviation security declaration, handmade art. We here at the Celtic Fairy Collection always watch your YouTube videos. We absolutely love them. We particularly love to see your garden updates. We think our fairy dolls will look lovely in your beautiful garden. Uh, and we go on with some other stuff, which we'll get onto in a second. It's a fairy door. These are fairy doors that you put in your garden. Come over from uh, from the island of Ireland, um, and uh, nicely painted, hand painted, very pleasant. Uh, Door doesn't open, decorative I'd say, rather than an actual functioning working door that fairies can live in. What do you think of the motto? Well yeah, Otto give everything here a mark out of 10. Mm. Do you think out of 10? Five. Five out of 10, not bad. What do you think of the bubble wrap? 10. 10 out of 10 for the bubble wrap, so um, great work there. But yeah, if you want your fairy doors, Celtic Fairy Collection. Cheers. And now, a word from our sponsors. Yes, that's right. I'm delighted to announce that our video today is sponsored by Bego Live. Bego Live is a streaming app where people can live their moments and meet interesting people from all around the globe. It's got 23 million active monthly users in 150 different countries. I didn't even know there were that many countries. I can only name six. Let's have a look at it. Here's the popular section of the app, which has, well, all the popular kids from school. But you can also check out multi-guest if you want to see lots of people chatting together. Game, where people can, well, watch and play games. And PK, where streamers can battle it out against each other, like gladiators. Obviously an absolute legend like me is going to be on Bego Live. So I'm going to be on the app every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at 11am this month while I cook my lunch. So you can tune in and watch me make culinary delights such as soup or chicken nuggets and chips or sandwich. If that sounds exciting to you, click on the link down below in the description and download Bego Live for yourself absolutely free. And while you're there, why don't you follow my Bego ID? It's 68434973. That's my lucky number. Oh, almost forgot to say, I'm also going to be giving away a watch to a lucky viewer for no apparent reason. Like I'm Puff Daddy or something. Tune in for that. Thanks, Bigo Live. Now back to the video. Okay, so this next thing is from someone called Andrew who watches the videos. Uh, very, very nice she is indeed too. And she got so annoyed with me moaning about chopping onions in my Mundane in the Brain uh, interviews that she ordered off of Amazon a vegetable chopper for vegetable chopping purposes. So we're gonna open it up now and we're gonna chop, chop something. I think it's part of the vegetable chopper. We've got here an onion, and we can chop the onion up using it. And I can eat it. You want to eat an onion? Yeah. Okay. Is there any instructions or anything? Instructions, yeah, but we don't need to use instructions, do we? Yeah, probably. Okay, I think what happens is you got this tray, and you put this thing here. You put your choice of grating, chopping thing on there, and then put your onion on here and then Otto I think you just shut this. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Or hang on. Don't you need to use the spikes to do it? Oh yeah maybe you use this thing. Yeah so this is a spiky thing that holds it in so you prong what you want to do. That goes on there and then, and then you push the button. Do you want to do it? Nope. 
It's chopped a bit of an onion. Sort of like that. What do you do now? You just push it out. Right? Thank you, Andrew, for sending this over. You've managed to find the one thing in the world that's slightly more annoying than actually just chopping an onion manually. So thanks for that, though. I'll put it in the kitchen and um, try and see how it works properly in the future. Forgot to say, Otto, what mark are you giving this onion smasher out of 10? Mm. Six. Six. So better than a fairy door, but not as good as bubble wrap. OK, on to the next thing. And this is a, a viewer, uh, Will Hamilton Davies, um, it messaged me a while ago saying, hey, I'm writing a kid's book. Can I send you it when it's out? And I went, yeah, of course. And look, he did. Turned up at the door, sent it to Arlo, I believe, and even, he wrote a little letter, a couple of stickers, and even did a little drawing inside the book and all this. Arlo's read it. People on my Instagram will know his views of it. Where are you going, Otz? To get some water. Oh. It makes sense for me having an onion to get water. Yeah, it does. You haven't put any water in your water. It's the shrew, the flu. Uh, it's about caring for the environment and stuff. I'm going to read the first little bit. I don't want to spoil the whole thing. And Otto hasn't... Have you heard this story yet? I've not read this to you, have I? Uh, you can tell what you think of it based only on the first page. Nestling under a leafy tree, a greedy shrew could hardly see. His eyes were small, his sight was bad. But what a nose this small shrew had. His long thin snout would smell the way to find his food from day to day. Across the forest floor he went, seeking out food by scent. So there you go. Very nicely illustrated. Uh, lovely book. I haven't got time to read it all now, so it's not really fair, but Otto, give it a mark out of ten. I haven't read it. Okay, so it wouldn't be fair to give it a mark. Yeah. Based on the picture, what do you think you, it was good? What do you think it's worth from the picture? Mm, I don't think it's that. Do you think the picture's that good? Mm. Okay. Best we don't rate it until we've fully discovered it. Okay. Next thing here, Arts. Ah, oh, this is lovely. This is for you, Arts. Um, someone called Josie mentioned me on Twitter. I just remembered this and um, said that she had some of those Lego cards that you like. So they're for yeah. you. You can say thank you, Josie. Thank you, Josie. There you go. Hope Otto enjoys these. I know you feel really Josie love from Yorkshire. Okay, another box now here. Let's see what this is. The easiest way to get out onion from this is to just do that and hold it down. Hmm. A little tip if anyone's got one of those and wants to get onion out of it. So a lot of you know that I'm what is called in the trade a car guy. Someone who's really into having the best cars around and, and many of you will have seen my Vauxhall Vectra estate. Otto, what do you think of our car? Mm, it stinks. It's a nice car though, isn't it? If it, didn't, if it didn't stink... It does. Yeah, I know, but the only reason it stinks is because you guys have left food in it. When we went on holiday. Yeah, when we went on holiday. That's why it smells. So these guys, detail freaks, uh, have said us the ultimate ceramic wax to make our car nice. Um, now, I would say we go and test it out on the car, Otto, but um, here we go. Nice packaging, isn't it? Very nice. I would say test out, although they've sent a little chamois thing. Feel that, what do you think of that? Mm -hmm. oh, do you think it feels funny? Yeah. Well, I would say we'll test it out on the Vauxhall Vectra, but my wife's gone to the shops. So, do you want, have you got any toy cars that we can test it on? Yeah. Do you want to go and get a, as big a metal toy car as you can find? Okay, what you got for us, Otto? A bus. So this is good because this is a battered old bus. <laughs> Put it over. Thank you. This is a battered old uh, vintage bus. My mother-in-law bought um, loads of like vintage toys for the kids, but obviously the kids decided to, to play them. <laughs> what you dig up there? So this is good. This is worn out. So we'll see if we can make it look like a brand new bus using Detail Freaks ceramic wax. Okay, first of all, Otto, we've got to clean and decontaminate the paintwork. How do we do that? Just give, it, just give it a rub on your jumper. Okay, I think that's working now. We've cleaned and decontaminated the paintwork. Now we get this wax. Oh, look at that colour. Absolutely nice. stunning. Blue. Will it make it blue? I do not know. It's 
going to apply this to the roof first of all in smooth circular motions. Can I do it? Mm -hmm. so pick a side and rub it around. So get a little bit of that on the, on the cloth and then rub it around on the, on the bus. Allow to haze and buff using a microfiber cloth. I wonder if that's what this is. So let's give it another little rub over. Buff, 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 buff. There we go. I'm sure you'll all agree that is a much nicer looking metal bus than it once was before. Uh, if you want some um, car wax stuff, de detail freaks, I'll put that link down but it's below. Why if it goes on your fingers? I don't think so. Why did it go on your fingers? I think so. I'll go and pop some of that on the Voxel, Voxel Vectra later. There's also something else weird. I don't know what this is. There's another thing that goes on it. Oh, I'm not sure if this is a car wax thing. I think this is just literally just chocolate. So detail I'm freaks do chocolate as well. You have the chocolate. I love the car wax. That's some chocolate. Dan Muddle, who's the sales and marketing director for Detail Freaks, has been watching your videos since the very early days of the channel. So big, big up, Dan. There we go. Thanks for watching. And thanks to everyone who sent things into the PO box. If you've got anything exciting or interesting to send in that we put in another video, um, do do um, pop it in the post. Uh, the address is down below. Um, thank you to uh, Bigo Life for sponsoring the video, and thank you to Otto uh, for coming to help out. Have you enjoyed being in the video arts? Yeah, bye. <laughs> it's gone.